Hi guys, GT here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on Skyrim. It's much easier than you think and I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do in order to use any mod of your choice in game. So guys, before we can actually install our mods, we need to sign up to a Bethesda account. Now don't worry, this is really, really simple guys. All you need to do is go to Bethesda.net as you can see there. You will then find yourself on this page here guys. And all you need to do is go to join now in the top right. Then you can choose yourself a username and enter some general information which is requested there. And also one thing to point out is that you must be 13 years or older in order to do this. Once you've signed up, you will be sent an email just to verify your account. It is really simple, you literally just have to click the email and it's done. And once you've done that, you can then go ahead and sign in. So guys, once you have signed in, you then just need to go over to the mod section at the top. This little menu will pop out and you need to choose either Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. And obviously today we are choosing Skyrim. Now this page will now come up and this is where really guys the magic happens. This is the point where you can choose all of your mods that you're going to use. By default they will be showing the most popular mods but you can have a scroll through and really look at the ones that you want to find. If you go over to the bit on the left here you can choose what platform you're playing on. I obviously play on PS4 so that's what I've selected. And now all of the mods that are showing up will be eligible to be played on PS4. You can also filter which category you want to be looking at. So for example, if I wanted to look at animals mods, I click that and then all of the ones that will appear here now are based on animals. And you can do that for several at once if you wanted to. So now guys is the part where we make it super easy to install these mods. You simply find one that you like and click on it. And once you've clicked on it, now you've got the description of it, the information to do with it, and obviously some history to do with what versions have been made. Once you decide that that's the mod you want to add to the game, simply go ahead and click add to library. So when we access the game in a minute, this mod will appear in my library and it'll be super easy to install. And you can really add as many mods to your library as you would like. So guys, now you need to load up the console or the computer that you're playing on and go to the main menu of Skyrim, and then you need to head down to the mod section. If you haven't before entered your details on your PS4, you will need to log in with the same details that you just created your Bethesda account with. And once that's done, you will then be presented with this screen here. Now, as you can see, my library here matches exactly the library that I chose on the Bethesda website. That's why going on the website makes it so much easier to do. So the mods that I wanted are here ready for me in my library, but I can look on the PS4 in the featured section or indeed go on the search function just to have a look at some on here. So once you choose a mod that you want to install, simply press on it and then go to the download section on the left hand side. Be sure to read the description on the right but it is exactly the same as what was on the website so it won't be anything new if you've already read it. So to download the mod simply press download. And it does it in absolutely no time, guys. There's not much waiting around at all. You can also favourite this. You can delete it if you wanted to. You can report it and you can also rate it to say what you think of it. So that mod is now downloaded and it is active. You'll see that the Surreal Lighting mod has the downloaded symbol but not the tick to say it's active. That's how you can tell which ones are downloaded and which ones are active. So I am going to enable the Surreal Lighting effect so you can see it when I go in game shortly. Once you've enabled your mods, you will see this screen here and it basically just says that the game needs to restart in order for the mods to become active when you are playing. Press OK and then it will automatically load these up for you. And just continue into your normal game and the mods will be there ready for you. So once you have enabled your mod you will have this pop up just before you go into the game and it's really important to note because if you are after trophies or achievements you won't be able to get them with mods active so do bear that in mind before you activate them. So guys, I am back in the game and straight away you can see that my Surreal Lighting mod is active by the look of that amazing sky. This is just one of the really simple but effective mods available to download and I do really recommend having a good look at what you want. So guys, this technique works for absolutely any mod that you want to install and hopefully it's been helpful to you. If it has, be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video and as always, if you haven't already guys, don't forget to hit subscribe.